wise man Daniel moving in the midst of the congregation at the synagogue church of all nations, praying for the people in the power of the Holy Spirit. As he moves under the check and influence of the Holy Spirit, the power of God storms the scene and uproots whatever that is not of Jesus in their lives. He encounters this man who tries to launch an attack. Get ready to watch the power of God dispel every shade of darkness in the life of this man. Fire all over what are you doing? Come on, somebody says. What do you think you are? I'm the ancient yes. beast. You who? The ancient beast. Ancient beast. Yes. I'm mean, not feeling inside this way. The many. Okay, ancient beast. Yes. Spiritual wife. Spiritual wife. The yeah. ancient eagle. Ancient eagle. Mm. And once again. Snakes. Snakes. Uh -huh. Pythons. Pythons. Uh -huh. mm, damn the ancient commander. Ancient commander. Yes. Where is your kingdom? I'm in hell. Like hell. Yes. Okay. A great king in the hell. A Seated at the left hand. Of my master. Who is your master? Satan. Satan. Yes. Mm. And he sent me. He sent you. Yes. To, to do what? To destroy this boy. Okay. And to give warning to you people. To give warning to who? To everybody. Where? Yeah. Here. Yes. What do you mean by giving warning to this place? What do you it mean? It is too much. What is happening that is too much? You have troubled us so much. Who is troubling you people? You and your God. He's a strong man. But that uh, is why people like us has come to challenge him. And anybody else standing in our way must perish. I'm uh, not ordinary. I'm okay. well prepared. Ancient beasts? Yes. Snakes? Yes. Great commander? Yes. The eagle? Yes. How do you operate in this boy? Eh? I've destroyed him. I've made him to masturbate, to fly in the dream. Fly in the dream? Yes. I use even men to make love with him in the night. You different men? Yes. I don't want him to be who they would want him to be. Okay. And when you use men to make love to him in the dream, what happens to him physically? He's angry. Nothing works for him. Okay. He's no more schooling. He's no more After schooling. After his advanced level, he cannot go to the university. He cannot go to I university. stopped him. How do you stop him? I made the parents have no money. Block every finance. They borrow money to come here. I make them live hand to mouth. Even food, there's no food. I blocked everything. As the ancient beast, yes. what have you done to this boy's career? I've destroyed his career. How? How do you destroy He can him? never serve your master's master. You say you don't want him yes. to serve my master's master? Yes. Who is my master's master? My master master, I can't call him. Why you can't call his name? He's a person that challenged my own master. He's a person that challenged your own master? Yes. Who is your master? My master is Satan. Why you can't call my master's master's name? Because we are two different people. We are two different people. A commander cannot call a commander's name. Mm. Yes. What is in that name? Of my master's master that you cannot call. That name trouble us. What trouble you, us so how, much. How does it trouble you people? It makes us to creep. It makes us to fail in any mission we carry. What is the relationship between that name and this environment where you are? That name controls this environment. Yes. What do you mean? It makes every demon that comes here cannot go back. Every demon that comes here yes. cannot go back. Yes. What do you think that happened to those demons that cannot go back? We command them. Yeah? Any demon that is being cast by you, yeah. that is my mission in hell. That's your mission in hell. Yes, you we punish them punish because them. they have failed their mission. Failed that their is mission. why I told my master that I must come through this boy to challenge you people. Okay, those people you sent could not succeed. Yes. And you came. Yes. Are you sure you will succeed? I will succeed. Uh, what is happening to you now? I can feel you trying to overcome me, but it's too late. I'm older even than the question of this act. I have trouble people like you. I trouble Elijah. Trouble grand man of God. Today, you, you I will you, trouble you people. Hey, listen. You don't know where you are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know where I am. He's more than you <laughs> and your master. Uh, he came for a purpose. Yeah. To destroy the work of your master and your agents. So you have no say here. Listen to me. Yes. The question I'm asking you now is, why do you trouble men of God? Uh, no man of God can even deliver me. Because I am too strong. Yes, yes, I manipulate yes. your spirit. Excuse me. Genuine men of God. Yes. Can you disturb them? No. Why? Because we are not the same people. You are not the same people? Yes. What makes genuine men of God different from the people you trouble? <laughs> because they worship in truth and in spirit. They worship in truth and in spirit. Yes. That's the genuine men of God. Yes. And those who worship in spirit and in truth, mm -hmm. why is it difficult for you to trouble them? Mm -hmm. Anytime I go closer to them, there's a light that appears that differentiates I and them. That is why I can't penetrate. Okay, what, how does that light look like? The light, I can't bear it. My face must be down. What, what's the relationship between that light and this place? It's the same. It's the that same. same light is here. Now, let's come back to this boy. Yes. You say you have destroyed him. Yes. How do you stop his education? I've stopped him in so many ways. In what way? Even when he holds his exam, I make the result to come out in another way. 
How do you make the result to come out in another way? I reduce the points. Do you go there physically or spiritually? It's physically. You there is power there. everywhere in his body. From bed, I bestowed upon all him. Because I saw the great light in him. He will be a great prophet. But okay. I have decided to change. You wrote exams? Yes. And you went to the invigilators? Everywhere I see it. And when you went there, what did you tell the invigilators? How do you manipulate them that made them to withdraw his grade? I myself, I go there. I, re I rewrite other things in the paper. Those in charge of the result, were yeah. they looking at you physically or spiritually? Spiritually. They cannot see you? They can't see me. Okay, when they, when they get to his own paper, what would they do? I've already written nonsense in it. They'll just mark it back. They'll mark it back. He'll be waiting to pass. Then is it because the, the boy is not intelligent or what? He's a very intelligent boy. He wrote very well. He wrote very well. When did the result come out? What comes out of the result? Zero. He fails. I don't even know what made him to pass until he's at the university now. It's because his parents came here. When they came here, he was being losing from the first kingdom. That is why he used two years to have his two certificate. And after that, I came to stop it. Okay, take it easy. Before now, you were able to manipulate his results? Yes. Make him to fail? Yes. But when the parents came here, yes. you could not manipulate the results? Yes. When they came here, what did they take from here that stopped you? You could not manipulate the results? They took that, what you call anointing water. What is that anointing water that stopped you from manipulating his results? It's the same light that is in you stopped me. That light stops you? Yes. In the anointing water? Yes. But it's ordinary water? No. no. You see this you're talking about? Yes. But it's ordinary water? It's not ordinary water. It's different from modern water because there is power there. Which your master, master, gave your master from above and he bestowed on it. So, does it mean anybody that uses this anointing water, you cannot go in? No, I can't go in. But I can afflict you in many ways because I'm the most persistent demon. What is inside this anointing water that makes you paralyzed? To prevent me. But the water is there, I cannot even manifest. The light that is in you is in the water. Okay, when, when this water is somewhere, let's say for instance, somebody spray this anointing water. Yes. Can you afflict the person? I cannot. Why? But I will wait when the person lies or commit any type of sin or get him well beaten. Okay. Yes. Okay, anybody that uses anointing water yes. cannot come in. Yes. But when the person commits sin, you come in. Yes. What is the importance of sin in your duty? We are the owner of sin. How? How do the you The great sin? persecutor, we judge them by their sin. And that's why we kill them every day. When we judge you, you are guilty. We sentence you to our master. Okay, what kind of sin can somebody commit that will make you come in? To and it's like lies, anger, fornication, masturbation, sin of any sort. No sin is little as is concerned. Sin is sin. Sin is sin. So once anybody commit that sin, yes. what happens to the person? We kill. You kill. And this is end time. What do you mean by end time? End time. Soon, your master, master, is about to pass judgment. That is why... We need to colonize people like you. What can make you colonize people? What can make you colonize them? We give them word. Uh -huh. When the power of your master falls on them, they start manifesting. We come with word. We come with many things. Pride enter them. We colonize them. Okay, you also, and they operate, become through, us. You also operate through pride. Yes, it's sin. Your master is not a proud man. But my master is a proud man. Who is your master? Satan is a proud man. So does it mean anybody that is humble, you cannot operate? No, 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 no. Humble people belong to you people. They don't look for problem. And proud people belong to who? Us. Okay. That is why we, we destroy the earth. That is why our master never sleep nor slumber. He cries every day when you send out little demons. They are little demons. I train them. I torment them. So I told him. What is your position with your master, Lucifer? I, I'm sitting in his left hand. The left agent. They call me Dakumba, the ancient warrior. I've been defeated once by your master, master. Since that time, I've never appeared on earth. Appear on earth because this boy is a great prophet. That's why I want to stop him so they cannot be like you people and your master. We are stopping them. Anybody that carries your mark, we stop them now because you people are too much. We can't stop you people, so we stop your type so that they cannot manifest like you people. You what have you done to his family? I have destroyed them. How do you destroy them? The father is a chief, they are from a royal family. Uh -huh. He is a prince. So I was looking for a way to possess a boy because when they deliver him, there was a light in his forehead. Trouble us. What the light in his forehead? What do you intend to do with the so light? So I passed through the ancestral lineage. Because in their kingdom, when you die, after some years, they remove your scores and they worship. Since his father was entitled to that position, and I passed through it and come to destroy only him. Only the him. rest, I afflict them. How did you manage to infiltrate into the family? Was it through sacrifices or what? When they sacrificed, when they invoked those dead people, I smile. The ancestral God is there, but he does not have power like me. Okay, when anybody invokes dead people, yes. it's an opportunity for people to come in. Yes. Okay, anybody that handles the Bible, yes. is humility and sincerity of the mind, yes. spirit and truth. Can you put near the person? No, I can't. What makes the Bible the person is kind of different from other Bible? He's different from other people. How? Because he learns the truth. There's a truth in that Bible. That's why we manipulate them. We make them debate in the Bible. 
Or maybe you come with your own ideas. Or that come with theirs. And people query. And that moment when you query the word of your master, your anointing drains, they will take control over you. That's how you confuse them? Yes. Okay, what have you done to this family? I've destroyed them. How do you destroy them? I've frustrated them. I stopped his brother from traveling to the United States. Because he loves his brother so much. That is why I say anybody that has love must suffer. He loves his mother so much. I say none of his mother's children shall grow. He loves his father so much. I use the unsocial demon to torment him. How long have you existed in this family? <laughs> 10,000 years. The unsocial God has been existing in their family. But I, the ancient beast, the ancient Lord, have been before the creation. So my existence is uncountable. Okay, anybody that is full of pride and arrogance, you manipulate the person. It's us. We don't even manipulate them. They are us, but they think that it belongs to your master. Your master is a humble man. He's dead to build, but we are there to destroy. So a proud man can never be you. He's a humble man. Your master is there to build, people are to destroy. Yes. They belong to destruction. Yes. Okay. Who are these people? They are my grandchildren. I call them my grandchildren because the ancestral God is my trainees. I train him in my room. So he comes to me and says, when their stepsister came here, you deliver him. He come to me and cried that the synagogue has started trouble in their kingdom. Then I told him that I was preparing to come here. I am the one that permitted them to come. If I never wanted, they could have not been here. I came for a purpose. What to, was the purpose why you came to here? To tell you people that you should work hard. And to tell the world that end time is at hand. Those that pray and sleep, they should not sleep. Because I and my agent will make sure we take them to our kingdom. Now we kill, we don't know where we afflict. We afflict you for some hours and you die. We don't allow long affliction because I will come here and you will deliver them. Okay, those you, you have caged, yes. you don't afflict them anymore. Yeah, we just kill. You just kill them. Yes. Why? We afflict many, the whole world so is under us. If they're under affliction, if they come here, they will be delivered. Yes. And you don't like that. So we just kill. And you don't want them to, to be delivered. They are delivered. They are free. And they, 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 I'm, not, they, I'm not happy with that. Why? They boast, they make mouth, the God of the God of Tebi Joshua, Tebi Joshua, Tebi Joshua. Who is him? Who is that God? My master fought with him. Let me tell you. Do you remember that my master fought with your master? It was just a matter of time. That is why your master defeated my master. But that defeat is not called defeat. Because when your master will go, my master will rule the world. This world belongs to us. The and up there belongs to you people and your master. Okay, this world belongs to you people. Yes. And up there belongs to who? Your so master's masters. And you people that are, now you belong there. You don't know that you belong there. But I am the one that is telling you that you belong there. You said these people are who to you? They are my grandchildren, my slaves. What do you mean by your slaves? They are my slaves because when the father went and collected a million francs to take them here, I took 500,000 just to tell them that I'm not a small man because they always spoke to me that I'm small. When I manifest, they say I'm small. So I show them the little of my mind. Many men of God have come to deliver me before they come. I manipulate them. But there is something in you and your masters. You and your master change every second and every minute that I can't get hold of you. That is why you are still existing. That is why you still have your anointing. That is why. But others, I manipulate them. Because some claim that they are baptized by the Holy Ghost. But they are not baptized. For your information, if you succeed in manipulating anyone, that means the person you manipulated is either a spiritualist. No. You can never... Listen to me, you demon. You can never manipulate a true man of God. You are light and you are darkness. How are you, man? Fine, sir. Fine. Who is it to you? It's my second son. Tell him. Alem Joko, you are my second son. You cannot deliver me. You are too small. I'm 10,000 years old in your family lane. You are my son. The, I, the ancient beast, is more than 10,000 years old. But you're saying you are her son. No, how can a young girl like that deliver me? How old she is? Just 50. Can she deliver me? How dare she? I'm not going to say that. You are my son. You are not God is my mother. mother. You are my son. <laughs> How are you, sir? Fine, sir. Who is it to you? This is my son. Tell him. You are my son. <laughs> that one is a Finnish man. He's not even my father. I have seized everything that belongs to him. What are the things you have seized? Because him? money, word, everything. All the things I give him is misery, doubt. Hatred. So I make him to trust himself. I make him to feel that he's a, he's a righteous man. So that through that, I will torment him because there's nobody else righteous on earth. I've suffered him so much. He's homeless. I did it. His children are in the house. They can't go to school. But you are their son. How, why should you d destroy this family? How uh, can a son be good to a father? I'm not his son. So you're not their son? No, I don't belong to them. Does it mean you're older than them? Uh, more than the word old. 
You know, see my gray hairs? Where is the gray hair? It's everywhere in me. How are you, sir? Fine. What can you say about your son? He is wild, aggressive, and uh, sometimes uncontrollable. Yes. And the whole truth is that I'm living because the prophet taught me. I've read the ancestral spirit and adults as a chief. I succeeded my father's tomb where these priests are there. What were the things that were there you succeeded? I inherited the shrine of the scores of my ancestors. Okay, you inherited the shrine of the gods of your ancestors? Yes, and they stole me as chief there. Where you were in control of the shrine? Control of the shrine. Finished me. The shrine has finished you? Finished me. I'm not a man again. How are you, man? Fine, sir. What can you say about your son and his attitude? My son, when he's angry, he can take a finger and pull this a house. When he's angry, he does not take any advice to anybody when he's angry. He's so aggressive. That spirit has tormented this child. When he was 13 years old, she had an oppression, major oppression. We didn't know that that spirit is behind him. He's so aggressive. He had a major oppression? Yes. Major we made it have a major pressure. I did it and I removed his spleen. He has no energy. You remove his spleen? Because his spleen is the most energetic part in the human body. So I took it to make him to be weak. But your master up there gave him another power that control him. He wrote the exam twice. He could, a very intelligent boy. He could not make even a paper. So we, we don't know what to say. So I and my husband ran to synagogue church. And when we have that anointed water, we pray. That is when he succeeded in writing two exams in one year, and he had it. Since then, if first university, he dropped and up to today. The father's money is gone. We can carry a million today, but tomorrow, even a 1,000 naira we cannot have. Now we are a beggar. We borrow money before coming here. Say so we should come to synagogue to see the man of God, that he can remove us from this calamity because I am frustrated and I'm tired. If not because of God, have suffered a lot for more than 30 years today. I am in agony. So, man of God, you people should help me. Don't worry, Jesus will take control. Don't worry. Who are you to him? I'm the elder brother. What can you say about him? Yeah, <clears throat> we are together in the University of the Only One. Sometimes he gets up in the morning, he's frowned, he's frowned at everything, even food. He doesn't eat after. So one you say, I don't know, my body is just becoming a type. So he's always sick. Many times I will leave the school. He was admitted in the hospital. Last year by January, he was admitted. He almost died. He was stooling, sent out water about 40 times a day. We, he was admitted for over one month in the hospital. He almost died. And sometimes he's very violent, angry. In the, any little thing, in the joke, he's angry. So that's his character. What about you, sir? I'm his friend. Okay, what can you say about He's always angry and then he likes to isolate himself. At times, he go and sit alone in a quiet place alone, only himself. So right now, you demon, it is time <laughs> you allow peace to reign in this family. Too late. And Jesus more than you. But he goes, fire the master of Jesus. All of everybody. You cannot. Jesus more than you. Jesus more than you. Find the maximum Jesus. All over your body. You no don't. Way. All over your body. Find the maximum Jesus. My master is here. All over your body. <laughs> Demon. Jesus more than you. Find the maximum Jesus. You do your work. 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 More strength to the beast. I came to challenge. Fire. The maximum of Jesus. All over your body. Find the maximum Jesus. More than it. You are not. Fire. All over your body. You are going. Ha, 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 ha. The mighty name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. All of everybody. All of everybody. All of everybody. Fire the mighty name of Jesus. Don't allow me, Master. You cannot. Jesus, more than Fire the mighty of Jesus. You cannot resist it. Fire the mighty of Jesus. All over your body. Fire the mighty of Jesus. Fire the mighty of Jesus Christ. All over your body, you demon. Your shoes, your clothes. Fire! You are going. I'm not ordinary. Thank you, Lord. Ordinary demon. I told you my position. Thank you, Lord. Fire the mighty of Jesus. Fire! Fire! 
The mighty name of Jesus. Lord, to fight. You cannot resist it. Lord, to fight. Fire! The mighty name of Jesus. All over your body. You demon. Fire! The mighty name of Jesus. Fire! All over your body. Fire! The mighty name of Jesus. Fire! All over your body. You are going. Master! No! But no! 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 Hey! Hallelujah, gloire soit rendue à Dieu. Oui, chers téléspectateurs, à la mention du nom de Jésus Christ, tout géré doit fléchir. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Nous disons gloire au Seigneur pour son fils Jésus Christ, qui est venu apporter la délivrance, celui qui nous a délivré des puissances des ténèbres. You are free. Effectivement, Jésus Christ, up, nous avons ces délivrances gratuitement. Ce jeune homme a été déclaré libre, chers téléspectateurs. Nous le voyons maintenant après sa délivrance. Car le diable est un menteur. How are you? Fine, sir. Okay. Who are these people? It's my brother. My mother. My father is my lovely mother. Okay. And this brother? My other brother. Okay. You said you are ancient beast? No. This demon always appear to me. In the physical, it comes every second in my life. A huge giant, tall, appears with a hand like a lion, the leg like a young lion. It starts making me to speak in strange language. Manifest. When my parents pray, there's no way. The more they pray, the more I go wide, the more it asks me power. I always find myself in the depth of hell with the type of demon that I'm having black up, making like that, beating me, feeding me. They use men like me to sex me the dream. Yes. And you say you came purposely to fight Prophet T.B. Joshua because he's disturbing your kingdom. The demon said that he must use me to fight you and your master. You people have been destroying so much more, more demons. You think that you have not met our species. So that is why our master started sending, our, sending their species to come. So it's their species that are coming now. We see you leaving your beers. For what purpose? No, it's I do shave, but it goes like this. So I just decided to keep it like that. That very demon that has tormented you. Tormented the families out. Thank you, man of God. So give thanks to God. Thank you, Jesus. So please, mom and dad, Jesus is the one that has delivered your son. Amen. Through Prophet T.B. Joshua. Thank you, Jesus. And don't for any reason remind this young man what happened today. Yes, sir. Nobody's righteous, not even one. Yes, man of God. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Even myself watching this video, wow. M makes me more humble and uh, more appreciative of God's goodness in my life. Yes. Yes. And uh, we do respect the young man is here, my brother in the Lord. Wow. Thank you. So, just come and tell us about the goodness of God in your life. Wow. Okay. Hello. Before you go ahead, we do respect. How many years now? Uh, I think it's over like almost 10 or 13 years. Because 2018, we were 222. Wow. You can see the huge difference. Look at him now compared to them. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Wow. Introduce yourself. Where are you now? Tell us more about you before you go into your testimony. By the special grace of God, I'm called Joko Allen. Originally, I'm from Cameroon. My mom is from Nigeria, Imo State, a Yeme local government. But precisely now, I'm married and I'm based in Holland, Netherlands. So I'm from Netherlands. Yes, it has not been an easy journey. But since after my deliverance, my encounter with the Lord Jesus through his servant, wise man Daniel, life has smiled on me. And I, I can say my life has never been the same. God has really been true with me all through my stages in life. Yes, what brought me here is what God has 
done again in my life through his anointed servant, wise man Daniel. When I got married to my wife, she's from the Netherlands, a Dutch citizen. She traveled back to the Netherlands. She was pregnant. And during the pregnancy, I was invited to come there for the birth of my child. By the grace of God, I got my visa and I traveled to the Netherlands. So normally over there, once you have a family that are there, you have the right to also stay there. It's a normal procedure. It's not something that you need stress. You just need to compile the necessary document. You give it to the immigration. After six months, they will call you and give you your stay. So we get a lawyer. We compile the necessary document, my marriage certificate, the birth certificate of my, of my child, everything. We give it to the, the lawyer. He hands it over to the immigration. One month, two months, three months, four months, six months that my resident card was supposed to be out. Nothing was said about it. They only sent us a form of rejection. So the lawyer called us. We asked the reason. They never gave any uh, 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 reason. They just said that I am not the person. That the person that owns this document is in Africa. That I am fake. I said, but I am the person. They asked for further document. My mother went to the hospital that they gave birth to me. Bought my delivery report. I gave them all my school certificate, even right to the university. They still say that I am not Alem Joko. That I am not the person. These documents are real, but they don't belong to me. They collected my passport, they seized all my documents. Then my wife asked me that, what is happening to me and what is going on? I said, my wife, me, I don't know, but I sense that it is Satan that is at work again in my life. So in the course of time, something that's supposed to take six months to come out, it took us one year, seven months, nothing was said. Last time we received a, a notice that I'm about to be sent back to Africa. So I told the immigration that if I'm to send, I need to go with my children. My wife then was pregnant. During that time, I was so distressed. I was depressed. That evening, I, one faithful day, I, just, I was so depressed. My wife asked us to sleep. I said, you go to bed. I can't sleep. Before I know it, I fell into a trance. I find myself standing alongside the road. But the road was open. There was no car coming, no car going. But I could not cross. I was standing with my wife. Then I told her to cross. I'm coming. She crossed the other way. She stood there. She's looking at me, but I cannot meet her. I'm trying to cross, I could not cross. All of a sudden, I saw the man of God, wise man, Daniel, coming at my back. He just tapped me on my back like that. that. Then he, he, he disappeared. Then all of a sudden, I crossed the road. When I crossed the road, I wake up from my sleep. I realized it was 7 a.m. I was telling my wife that, which kind of dream is this? For a very long time, I've not encountered the man of God in my dream. How come that the man of God appeared to me? Then I said, I need to get to him. In the course of time, I had to look for how I can contact him. I contact my friend and my brother, Prophet Bruce in Botswana. I said, I, have a, a, I really need to get to the man of God. There is something bothering me. Then he told the man of God about me. The man of God was at the prayer mountain then. He called me, asked me how am I. I told him that I'm fine. I told him where I am, that I'm based in the Netherlands. He said, wow, congratulations. I didn't tell him that I have a challenge with my document, anything. We just spoke like two, three minutes. He offed the call. After the call was dropped, within three days, the immigration called me that they are sorry for all the inconvenience, that they have issued my resident permits. <laughs> well, I confused. I told my wife, my wife said, just a phone call. I said, yes, it's a mystery because we didn't even tell the man of God what we are going through. We kept it to ourselves. Then we, I was like, see, I go to the immigration before I will see. This is immigration that we always call them. They will not pick our call. Even when we go there, they will attend to other people and just allow us. But this time, they are the ones that call me. Then they even send me a letter, a mail to my house that, please, this um, letter is written in Dutch. Give it to anybody that can translate Dutch to you because it is very important. So I picked the letter. I gave it to my wife because she speaks Dutch. She read it. She said, that means your resident card decision has been made for, for them to give you. So while we're waiting, they say it will take 14 days for the card to be printed. But within five days, they call us again. These are people that we were the one calling. Even our lawyer was fed up. The lawyer said he, cannot, he has never seen this kind of a thing because our people go there illegal. Some go there to seek asylum. But I, I come there legally. I'm married. And he doesn't know why they are doing this to me. I told my wife that way. The white people don't understand spiritual things. But I know that Satan is at work. So when they called us this time, I was like shocked. I said, until I have this card. And then before I know that, it is real. I arrived that day. There was so much people sitting I was waiting. I wanted to see. They just called me that. Mr. Allen coming. Then they gave me the card. They asked me to sign. Oh, I was overwhelmed that day. I know indeed there is God. 
in this ministry. So I told my wife that this kind of testimony is not something I need to keep. I must return back to Nigeria by fire, by force to give my testimony. In the course of time, while we were preparing to come, we, we contact the man of God. He said, okay, I should come. My wife also was having serious problems because she was pregnant. She had tight pelvic. The baby in her womb stopped breathing. So we were confused. And um, during that period, we had nothing to do. I told my wife that they sent us to a, 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 a physiotherapist to for body massage. Each time we go there, we pay 70 euro every time, 70 euro. I told my wife that I know you people believe so much in medication because it's a nurse. But I also believe in my own medication. He said, what is your medication? I said, my medication is God Almighty. I need to tell the man of God about it. He said, no, don't bother the man of God. He will get angry. I said, no, the man of God is to attend to us. He can never get angry because it's his job. So I called the man of God. The man of God prayed for my wife and commanded the passage of the baby to open. Behold, after the prayer, within a couple of three to four days, my wife gave birth to a healthy, bouncing baby boy. So here with me is my resident card. Yes, um, we do respect. We're talking about your wife, your child. Can we you have any picture to show your phone? Away? Let's see, because uh, the glory started right from scorn when he was delivered there. Uh, that's a radical transformation. So that is the resident permit the Lord had made possible for him to have. That is our second son. Do you have any picture of your entire family? Yeah. Where is it? Let's see. That, that's one is more. <laughs> that's it. That's the last baby. The, the the one on the other side is my son. He's ten years. The other by name General. The other man up there is uh, eighteen months. By name Adam, the, the, the little baby with the suckling in the mouth is a newborn baby. We call him Micah, meaning who is like God. Then the lady with the lenses is my wife. The other one carrying the baby there was the other Adam that was a baby. That's my mother in law. Shall we clap for wonderful Jesus Christ? Yes, um, the Bible says we should avoid the trap of looking back unless it is to glorify God for what he has done. The Lord has transformed you in a radical way. We all rejoice with you. We just, just take a, 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 a step backwards a bit. In two minutes, just retract what the demon did to your family after your deliverance. You have said what happened after your deliverance. Just give us a, a, a two minutes history. During the time of satanic oppression in our family, it was either sickness, or we don't have something to eat, or we drop out of school. My dad was all of that sickness. There's never a day we'll get up without talking about, I had this attack, I had this attack, I saw this. It was just total misery. No peace. We fight, we query among each other. It was like that. Stress, stress. If we must go to school, my father must take a loan that he will pay during the course of time. So there was nothing to show for it. We were, sometimes people look at us, the way we are, it's just a physical appearance that we had, but indeed we were suffering. But after the encounter with the man of God in the synagogue, things begin to change for good. And today, here I am, for the glory of God. Shall we clap for wonderful Jesus Christ? Indeed, the Lord is good. Yes, and uh, finally, what word of advice do you have for all who are listening to you? My word of advice that I will give to everyone listening to me and viewers all over the world, no matter the storm, trust Jesus. When you trust Jesus, your life will have meaning and your situation will receive direction. You hear that? When you trust in Jesus Christ, your life will have meaning and everything about you will receive what? Direction. Can see direction to success is very obvious all around him to God be the glory and then before you go we just want to you to 
to dance to the glory of God, rejoice to the glory of God. Just two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. That's a good song. Two minutes. For the glory of God. I can see everything turning around. Yes. Rise up. Turning around. Hey, turning around. For, let me say. I can see everything. Hallelujah. Hey. I can see it. He's turning around for your good. I can see everything. Eh? Everybody eh? celebrate. Come on. I can see everything. Eh? Miracle worker. Jehovah. Eh? He said he live around. Turning around. Eh? Turning around. Eh? He makes a way. He is the demon destroyer. Akapa Idu, that's what I call him. He's turning around for your good. I can see everything. Turning around. Turning around. I can see him in a Everything turning around, turning around. Are you just watching it? I can see Jehovah. Come on, turning around. He's turning around more things for you, brother. Unless he will do more for you again. He's turning, 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 turning around, turning around, turning around for me. Mighty God lives in us. We do respect him. Have your seats. That is it, our brother. That is the essence of salvation. That is why, if you see me calling the name Jesus and he's working for me, if you see me praying for deliverance and he's taking place, praying for healing and he's taking place, don't blame me. Blame Prophet T.B. Joshua. Blessed memory. It is, it is what he poured in me that I'm vomiting. So therefore, don't blame me. <laughs> that is it. So that is why I will forever remain grateful to God and to him. Yes. Remember, a soldier is always a soldier. A servant is always a servant. Always loyal to the master. Yes. Until I pass on to glory, I will forever, ever, ever, ever remain grateful to that man, T.B. Joshua. Yes. Yes. You can see the reason. You can see. See the reason? Except somebody who is not grateful to God Almighty and to that man, blessed memory, Prophet T.B. Joshua. That will pass through the corridor of scorn and remain the same. I passed through the corridor of the synagogue church of all nations, Lagos, a cartoon ago, Lagos, and my life changed. To God be the glory. Yes.